And some residents of Kaswa Obum Junction are unhappy about an uncontrolled stone quarrying activity which is damaging their property. They fear of a possible collapse of their buildings if quarrying activities continue in the area. The Kaishen Quarry started operations six months ago and managers explain they have acquired all the necessary permits from authorities to operate a 24-hour service. But residents complain the activities of the quarry have been causing damage to their property. Chris Obin is a poultry farmer whose farm and residence are located opposite the quarry. He explains how the quarry cracks stone late into the night and make use of high-grade explosives for blasting, shaking buildings and negatively affecting their lifespan. Trucks which also come to load stones in the night also add up to the noise with their unending honing and engine sound which can be heard about six miles away. Presently, some parts of his building are cracking while the stone grounded foundation of his new construction is also weakening. Mr. Abe noted initial complaints compelled the quarry to resort to using a lower grade explosive which calmed down the situation, only for them to return to use of unauthorized explosives. I am here not to close anybody's business. Our ulterior motive, which even the elders agree, is for them to work within the rules. If you say you're working 24 hours, obviously the people, the trucks, you can't blame them. And when they come and they are asleep, they toot their horn, they rev their engine. The fact that you are working doesn't mean you have to trample on somebody else's right to make your money. Management of the quarry denied some of the allegations. 24 hours, we used to sell 24 hours, but not to, we are not to producing materials to sell. When we are producing materials, which means we are going to make noise. But when we are selling, it doesn't make that we are, I mean, we are, we are making noise. They, however, promised to work out a schedule that would be favorable to the residents. We'll stop breaking stones at most lights in 9.30 or at most in 9.40, we'll stop it. We'll tell all our customers, which are tipper drivers, at night time when they come, they shouldn't, they must not blow the horns so that, you know, the noise coming from the tipper trucks would, you know, decrease would be better. Residents are threatening stringent measures if the situation does not change. 